What is going on everybody? I have a pretty exciting video here. You know, not just because it's going to be a fun video to do, but this is going to kickstart something I'm really excited excited about, and that is a new series of quarterback film breakdowns. So if you enjoy this video, if it you know helps you improve your understanding of the game and helps the way you watch quarterbacks and understand what they're doing, you're going to have to go over to Patreon, patreon.com slash that franchise guy, become a Patreon MVP because from here on out, these film breakdowns are going there on Patreon. And right now, we are striving for two per month. I am going to hit stretch goals on there, though, or put, put them up uh, for increasing this to three per month, four per month, etc., etc. So, again, if you enjoy this and you want to check that out, head over there to Patreon. And the other thing that I'm really excited about here is something I've been really trying to work on over the last two years of, of breaking down quarterbacks is some kind of quantifiable grading scale for an individual game. And that's what I'm kind of announcing here as well, and that's what I'm going to go through here. Now, obviously, quarterback grading is very it's a very big deal right now out there and you know there's a lot of different debates on what's subjective what's the truth what can you knock a guy for and all this stuff and there's no perfect way to grade a quarterback and my scale is no different there's going to be some subjective elements about this based on all of the quarterback tape i've watched there's going to be thir certain things that i say well he should have done this and he's going to get negatively graded some systems will not do that some will mine is going to include that and you could argue well that's too subjective that's fine. You don't have to listen to my opinion, but if you're watching this video, you probably want to hear what I have to say and respect my opinion anyway. So let's go through the grading scale here before we dive into Matt Ryan. So a zero, uh, for one, it's a zero to four scale. So a zero is as low as you can go. This is going to be a turnover worthy play, a what the hell are you doing kind of play. And it doesn't necessarily have to result in a turnover. If you have a dropped pick or a fumble on a scramble that bounces the right direction, you end up getting the ball back. It's not going to show up in the stat sheet as a turnover. But as far as you're grading how they did on that play, it's still going to be a zero. The only other way you're going to get a zero is if you just straight up miss a throw to a wide receiver. And the other thing I will add here is as we continue to expand upon this grading system, I will probably be adding, you know, a text here to what quantifies a one versus a three or whatever. Uh, so a one here is still going to be a negatively graded throw. These are going to be missed average difficulty throws to open wide receivers. These are just going to be straight up bad passes. Um, this is where the most subjective element is, is going to come into play here with could have plays. And I promise you, these are going to have to be obvious. Like if they're standing in the pocket and they had an obvious step up lane, or they're literally staring at a wide receiver and they pump pump fake and pull the ball back in and get sacked or just something like that. It has to be a play that I would expect an average NFL quarterback to make and they just didn't get the job done. So you can um, get knocked for subjective elements like that. You know, anytime there's any doubt, we will fall back on the alternative, which is going to be a two that we'll talk about in a second. Um, you know, these are going to be missed easy throws, uh, sorry, missed easy, obvious reads that had a, uh, the play had a negative result is the other option here. So that's kind of what we're talking about there. If you saw a receiver come open on first down, but the quarterback didn't and they get sacked, you know, that's going to be a one. Now, if they pull the ball in, scramble and create a first down, that's going to actually help their grade. So that's the one instance where the result of the play is going to play a big factor because a lot of the time here, you know, a dropped pass or a dropped interception, like we will take those things into account to where the outcome of the play didn't actually matter in the grade of the quarterback, if that makes sense. So a two here is going to be the majority of throws. These are going to be system throws. You hit your first read for less than 20 throws. These are throws that you expect a starting NFL quarterback to make. This is also going to include if you get sacked and you have nowhere to go with the football. I'm not going to knock a player for that, but they're also not going to really benefit from that situation either. Um, a scramble not for a first down. So, you know, if you come off your first read or you create something, you scramble and, you know, it's a good run, but you don't get the first down, we're going to mark that as an average play. 
Uh, so two is going to be the baseline, then a three, this is where you're getting into the positive graded territory. These are going to be, for the most part, big time throws. Any kind of accurate throw of 20 plus yards. Now, most of the time, if it's a three for a big time accurate downfield throw, it's going to be because they had plenty of time to throw um, and the receiver was open. So you will still get boosted for making those big time throws but it's not going to come in as a four if the wide receiver is wide open and you have all day to throw in the pocket even if it's a nice 35 yard strike on an open post route um, and then any kind of scramble for a first down those are big impactful plays um, that do add value to guys like Lamar Jackson Josh Allen um, so you're going to get benefited um, for being able to scramble for a first down but a big knock we have on on mobile quarterbacks as well is when they aren't able to find that second or third read and they scramble and end up getting tackled short of the sticks and they have to punt, that is going to come in as a two. But if you're able to get that first down, you should be rewarded for that. Um, and then any kind of ex uh, play extension beyond the first read for a nice completion. So, you know, a lot of fours are going to include play extension as well. This is more so referring to, okay, you're standing in the pocket, maybe that first read gets covered up and you go to your next check and you extend the play inside the pocket. Or maybe it was a more simplified mobile play extension. Um, you know, that's all going to be a little subjective because as we move on to a four, that's going to be another big element of this is creating offense that wasn't there in the first place. Um, and it's usually going to result in a big time throw. So here we have throwing the wide receiver open. This means throwing just ridiculously accurate balls that only your wide receiver uh, could have caught, usually when that receiver is covered up. Throwing with anticipation, throwing into a window that you didn't think was there until the quarterback put it there and the wide receiver went and got it, or just you know tight window throws, kind of like we were talking about with throwing wide receivers open. So big time throws like that can happen on uh, within you know in the short to intermediate game. They're a little more rare. Uh, we're talking about big time throws here under pressure. You've got a, a rusher breathing down your neck. You hang in there, fire the ball, you know, down the sideline, 30 yards down the field, complete a pass. Even if the wide receiver is open, you might get a four for that. Um, and then we also have extending the play beyond the first read for a first down completion. So that's kind of the big difference between a three and a four. You know, if you elude that edge rusher, uh, step up in the pocket and you know hit a nice four yard gain on second down that's not quite as as impressive as like on third and nine you make a big play happen you you know create a play 15 yards downfield and, and get a first down so that's really the difference between a three and a four as far as you know eluding pressure and play extension with your feet now there's obviously play extension in other regards in terms of going beyond your first read through your progressions stepping up in the pocket um it, you know tom brady style if you will um, and then we do actually kind of have had a hidden five here. These are going to be incredibly rare. These are going to be for when a four doesn't do the play justice. Um, you, you know, these are going to be just really ridiculous plays, usually coming off of play extension with mobility. Um, more often than not, this is going to be on a play that would normally result in a, a two or an NA, which is what we'll talk about in just a second. But a lot of times, if, if the quarterback's getting sacked and it's not really his fault, we're not going to knock him, right? But if he's able to reverse that and make a guy miss and create a big play uh, when it should have been a negative play, that's a ridiculous boost to the grade. And I think there needs to be some kind of grading that differentiates itself from a four. Um, and then we also have the NA. This is going to be screen passes, pop passes. Now, if you are inaccurate on a screen pass, that's going to give you that zero or a negative one, uh, or sorry, zero or a one. But just your typical screen pass, I expect every NFL quarterback to be able to make. You know, it will factor into the, uh, or actually, it will not factor into the average. We effectively just don't count that as a pass attempt unless it was a negative play. Um, and then any kind of blocking miscommunication against a three or a four man rush where it wasn't a blitz. Um, you know, we, we factor in a quarterback's ability to pick up blitzes, but if they just get sacked and it wasn't their fault, if for some reason the nose tackle just comes screaming in unblocked, you know, we're not going to count that as really anything uh, against the quarterback. Whereas opposed to if you get blitzed and don't have anywhere to go, you know, that's, an, that's a situation where you get a two. You're not going to get positively or negative 
uh, impact for that. But if you know if you recognize the blitz, the idea is that you either you know hit that first read really quickly, or you are able to get out of the pocket and extend the play. So that's the grading system, and I'm excited to see how this all plays out over time and how it continues to grow. But let's get into Matt Ryan here, and the big question, is Matt Ryan a system quarterback? Well, let's let's just get into it here. This is, I think, the game that when people ask me, why do you think Matt Ryan's a system quarterback? This is usually the game I point to, and I think you guys will see as we go on with this thing. So here we have... Um, a first and 15, the first play of the game here. And we are going to be grading these as we go. So that's a two, right? Pretty simple, staring down his receiver, hits the out route, crosses body, so nice throw, but you know nothing spectacular. You expect your, your quarterback to make that throw, especially to Julio Jones. Whoops, that's not supposed to be in there. That's a run. I cut out all of the rushing plays other than that one, apparently. All right, here we go. It's a pretty quick read, simple concept. And comes open, wide receiver. You know, that's a two. That's a system play right there. Should have been caught. That's fine. Second and 10. Play action. Now, some people might say this is an inaccurate pass. He's trying to throw this away from him. Um, that's his first read. And we're going to give that a two. I, I think he's throwing it behind him a little bit, knowing that it's a running back. It's a smaller running back. He's not likely to you know, out physical a guy for a catch. He just is playing it safe there, especially on first, or I guess it was second down, but um, we won't give him a negative grade for that. So here is third down. And he is going to have a three on this one. So this is a very good play. And I don't want to rip on Matt Ryan. I need to point that out. Um, I would still rank him amidst my top 12. Yes, I will say he is a system guy, but he is still a very good quarterback. He won an MVP for a reason. I'm not trying to put this video out here to say he's a bad quarterback, but when you hear people say he's a top five quarterback, I cannot get behind that. So here, it is a blitz, a uh, five-man rush, but he does a good job stepping up in the pocket to buy a little bit of time, and that's a tough throw. Um, granted, Julio's pretty wide open, this would probably be a borderline three to a four. Watch it one more time. It's like a 3.4. And maybe I should develop some kind of decimal system for when they are on the on the boundary there. So I'll just I'll I'll try that out. We'll we'll put that as a 3.4. That is a good throw for sure. But a theme that you're gonna get with this is most of his positive graded throws in this cut up are to this man right here number 11 it just makes things a little bit easier and by a little bit i mean a lot when you got a guy that can run that route right there and get that open on that deep post so third and one nice little drive here that was a big big throw on third down um, and now they're going to scheme this up so we end up with a mismatch with the running back on I believe a linebacker here yes 47 that's Nate Gary so they get the matchup they want and this is a really infamous throw for me for Matt Ryan because if he's going to be this pocket passing system quarterback a guy that's supposed to be Tom Brady well you know what Tom Brady that ball's out now if you're Tom Brady that ball is already in the air and is going to be here by the time this running back turns his head Look how late Matt Ryan waits to throw that ball. Running back started his cut. The throwing motion hasn't even begun. He even pump faked a little bit. The ball is just being released, and look how open he is. Now, not only is this ball out late, but it's a bad throw. This ball is closer to going to this wide receiver than being here. So this, to me, especially considering the motion set this up, this was the first read. You are in the red zone on third down. 
This to me is a zero. This to me is unacceptable for a supposedly elite quarterback. This is actually garbage. Um, and you want to see what happens on the next play after you screwed this up? They go for it on fourth down, and the running back gets stuffed. That's unacceptable if you know you want to put him in the top five conversation. So we got the next drive, play action. Now this is a tough throw. This is a tough timing route with a wide receiver. We've seen great quarterbacks do that consistently. Um, the timing just isn't there. I'm not willing to put this on Matt Ryan. I'm not willing to put this on the wide receiver. We don't know exactly what was supposed to happen here. If this was a hitch or a comeback, usually you put that, um, you would say the quarterback was right. Or, you know, we don't know. This could have just been an inaccurate pass. He could have been trying to throw that hitch. But this ball is thrown as if it's a comeback. So we go with a two on this play right here. Let's see from this angle. You know, he has so much time to step into that. And it's so off the mark, it does seem like he was expecting a comeback. So third down, let's see what you got, Matt Ryan. You had a terrible play that cost your team points earlier. What do you have here on third down? All right, so no one's open. He is going to run and gets the first down. So we give him a three for that play. A rare rush for a first down for Matt Ryan. Okay, second and 12. Play action. Screen pass. Nice play design, but that's going to go down as an NA. Let's see, what do we have here? First and 10. Play action. Ball should come here, right? Nope. Settles for... the check down now let's see it from this angle because this is where the subjective comes into mind right the what could he have done here well he's not under pressure right now he's looking downfield I'm perfectly willing to criticize Matt Ryan with this much open field for not throwing this ball to Julio Jones we so often criticize Matt Ryan for getting panicky in the red zone and not capitalizing, you know, inside the 20s or, or, you know, outside the 20s. He, we, A lot of people would say he is a between the 20s quarterback when the field is large and his receivers can create a ton of space and it's all wide open in front of him. He's, he's dominant. But when the quarters get tight here, he doesn't think as fast. He has plenty of time to get this ball out right here. Plenty of space. Julio Jones catch radius is about this big. But for one, his his hands are down here. He's not ready to throw the ball. He takes that. I'm willing to give that a one. I'm willing to criticize him for that right there. I am. Especially when it's Julio Jones. So here on second down, that's a two. There is nowhere to go. I would argue, why are you throwing the ball away? Keep, keep rolling out. You know, maybe you get an opportunity. Where are you going? I've seen tons of quarterbacks create more off of that, but we'll give it a two. We won't be overly critical of him, but it's there's he's not doing anything there. I would argue that there was offense to be made there, that he wasn't under that much pressure. Let's see it from this angle. Like right, right about there, he's looked there. Okay, those aren't open. I don't know. He had plenty of space to keep moving. We'll give it a two, though. Okay, third and seven. This is where where the elite quarterbacks make their money. Third and seven in the red zone. You've already screwed up once. Okay, nothing's open. This was coming open, but he had already come off that read. And he's unable to elude the pressure, so it's a two. System play. So they settle for the field goal, but it ended up getting blocked. Or no, no, no. There was, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to go back. I don't know what the penalty was here. 
Maybe someone was lined up off sides. Let's see, did he move? Yeah, he may have jumped there. So, I mean, Matt Ryan didn't see that. That's fine. For all, all his intents and purposes, that was preparing to kick a field goal. I don't think he saw the, the jump there right before the snap. If he did, he should have thrown the ball um, to Julio Jones, no matter where he was. Just throw it up there. It's a free play. But I don't think he saw it, so we won't criticize him there. So here on third and two, three-man rush. He's not under any pressure. He kind of is, but they've got Brandon Graham taken care of there. And the tight end is trying to whip inside. I mean, it's just, it's just a system play. They're trying the pick route. Philly plays this the right way. That's good defense because what they're trying to do is have this guy be this guy's man and then cut off this guy who's manned on him. But Philly switches off. Matt Ryan probably sees that he's going to switch off, and he wants to throw the ball back inside. They want a flag, but that's on you, Atlanta. You're, you're scheming that to get the flag. So the refs aren't going to throw that. I hate these pick routes, by the way. I think they're just scummy. So I'm fine seeing that backfire on Atlanta. So that's another two for Matt Ryan. So here we got play action. I don't know why this ball takes so long to come out. Wouldn't you start this throwing motion right now? He's staring right at him. Look at all of this space right here. It's Julio Jones. You've come off play action. You've had plenty of time to see what these linebackers are doing. That head's around right now. There's lots of space here, Matt. Why are you waiting so long to throw that ball, and why is it coming out here when that ball needs to be out right here? I don't think that's overly critical. You should have started this throwing motion right about here. That's plenty of time to see it, and that ball should come out right. It should be right here. I think it's fair to say that the ball should be right here to Julio. And it kind of is. He's a little late on the read. You know, we're being critical. It's a two. It's not a one. We'll lean on the side of system play there. But let's see it from this angle. I don't know, man. It's I'm sticking with two, but I'm gonna sit. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna knock him in my own head because he's already looking at him. He's wide open right now, and he waits so long to throw the ball. If that ball's out just a little earlier, it's probably a completion. All right, that's just a check down. That was third and long, right? So we'll go. We'll go with the two. Or was that even that was that schemed? That was schemed, so that's an N.A. All right, next possession. Play action. Going deep to Julio. Again, it's Julio Jones. Getting wide open, but still a big-time throw by Matt Ryan. That is not an easy throw. We're going three on that one. That's an NFL, that's a big time NFL throw right there. We'll go three. So how this works, by the way, is we take the final score, we multiply it by four, and it gives you a nice zero to 100 score. So if they're in like the 60s or 70s, that's gonna be a pretty good grade. 50 is gonna be obviously average. All right, let's see here. Gonna have to see the other angle to see what his reads were on this one. It's a nice play. This isn't going to tell us a whole lot. You could make a case for this to be a three. He starts over here, right? Kind of. He's just kind of staring off here, holding holding this linebacker a little bit. That's almost like a two and a half. That's like somewhere between a three and a two. I like that he held him with his eyes just enough. His eyes are like right here. 
You know what? That's a good read. We'll go. We'll give him a three. We'll be nice. Pocket passers got to have some way to create offense, right? Can see him hold, hold him with his eyes just enough there. It's that's good. That's that's what you teach. It's good stuff. Play action. Nice step up. Scrambles a little bit, so that's a two. Although he did kind of elude the pressure. Might have to make some notes to my grading system. Maybe like a two and a half for that kind of thing where they elude pressure, create a couple yards off of a would-be sack. So we're going to go two and a half. I'm going to make some notes to update that in my grading system. Like I said, it's going to be organic. We're learning this as we go. That's not enough. That's not just a system play, right? If he was just executing the system, he probably gets sacked there. He didn't create a whole lot of offense, but he didn't get negative. So we'll give him two and a half. So that's just a two, right? Frankly, not the best read. If that ball was accurately thrown, that'd be a pretty dangerous throw, to be honest. But we'll give it a two. So we got third and eight now. Game's tied. You got three points about to be halftime, Matt Ryan. We need you, man. We're paying you $30 million. Go make a play for us. Nowhere to go. That's a two. Gets sacked. Blitz comes, doesn't really see it. Doesn't have anywhere to go. Now, if you you know, this is why we have this grading system. A two, it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to help you. But how often do we see the elite quarterbacks see this blitz? Okay, no one's open. No one's open. I got to get out of here. Look at all of this green grass. How many times have we seen... I mean, Aaron Rodgers is Aaron Rodgers. But how many times have we seen Mitch Trubisky... Josh Allen, Sam Darnold even. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. You know, Matt Ryan doesn't have that in his game, which is fine. He's He makes up for it in other ways. But it doesn't mean you can't criticize him for not being athletic. It's just a, it's a hard truth about Matt Ryan. He's not a mobile quarterback. The system gets bottled up. He's got nothing to do. So we go two for that play. So Atlanta goes field goal. They're up 6-3. to three. This is, I think, just before half, right? Yep. Two-minute drill. Nice throw. That's a borderline three. Although he does, it's not even his first read necessarily. Gets through his progressions pretty quick. We'll go a three with that. That's a that's a pretty big time throw right there. It is Julio Jones one on one. And other than his one scramble that we gave a three, he doesn't have a positive graded play. I guess he had that one quick read. But it's pretty much always Julio. What are you doing? Okay, he's got all day to throw. He's got a guy screaming over the middle here. But the ball comes out late. If you're going to throw this thing, that ball already has to be here. For those of you that follow me on Twitter, you saw that nice clip of, of Matt Ryan. Um, actually, I'll just I'll, I'll, I'm on, I'll edit that in right now. So you can see in this clip, you can see how much anticipation Matt Ryan throws this ball with. And we said that... You know, this throw is what Tom Brady does consistently that makes him an elite quarterback despite his physical limitations. Well, let's come back to this play. Matt, uh, I said in that tweet, Tom, Matt Ryan, this is great. Show us this all the time. And right here, it's a very similar play. He's got the backside post coming open. If you want to attempt this pass... That ball already has to be out right here. You have to be that quick. You have to have that nice of a release. You have to have that much zip. But he hasn't even started his throwing motion. That ball's got to be out right now. Right now. Once this linebacker's already jumped. 
and it's already not a good decision, by the way, because this safety is lurking, but it, it could have been there if you were absolutely perfect. And even Baker Mayfield, I've seen make this throw right here. Um, but the ball doesn't come out. He still hasn't begun his release. The receiver's already begun his break, which totally keys this safety. Now the ball gets thrown. That's a zero. That should have been intercepted. That's a very bad play by Matt Ryan. And that could have led to easy points for Philly before half in a two-minute drill situation. And it's not even that he's staring the other way, right? He's looking that way. So it's not like he's coming off reads over here like that Twitter clip. He's looking that way right now. He sees right, you can tell, right? Okay, he's looking at this first read right there. That's blurry right now, but you can tell he's, okay, I'm looking at this post. Why does he wait so long? Second and 10. That's a two. It's just a check down. Okay, third and three. This is a good throw. All right, let's see it in slow-mo here. So the ball's out. He's open. It's past the sticks. I'd expect my wide receiver to catch that. We'll, we'll give Matt a three. That's a good play on third down. He got through all his progressions. Process over results on this YouTube channel. Pretty simple two right there. I don't think we're going to get any debate. So play action. This is a nice play right here. That's about a 25, 50, about a... Oh, my math's off. That's, let's see. Where is that ball released? Right here. So we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 45... 50, 55 yard throw. Took everything he had and he got absolutely blasted. Now it's not a four for me because look how freaking wide open Julio Jones gets on the double move. And it's play action designed for that specifically right there. You'll give him some credit for this. It's not a complete four for me. It's like a 3.6, a 3.6. He's got the lead blocker, so I wouldn't even really call that pocket extension right there. It's a pretty no-brainer step up right there. But the toughness to lay in there on the money. But again, for a 4, we've said you got to create... I'm just going to give it a straight-up 3.5. For a 4, you got to be creating offense that is not there to get that perfect four. <laughs> I mean, appreciate his toughness. Look at this hit. Mm. It's about as close to a perfect play as you can get in terms of a grading grading of him. Julio almost didn't catch it, too. So he goes through his reads. Nothing there. Give it a two. Let's move on. Didn't really have anywhere to go either. Okay, third and 24. I mean, well, it's a two, but the thing is, like, dude, what's the rush, you know? There's quarterbacks in this league that are actually thinking we might be able to get this against a two-man rush. I don't know. I mean, it is it is what it is. I understand. Just get some yardage back. Play action. There you go. It's a nice throw. Probably a three, right? It's a nice play. Let's see what he did with his head here. If that was... If he was staring him down or... Ah, 
Oh, that's a three. That's a nice play. Ugh. Was this third down? Third and ten. Let's watch this in a little bit slow motion. So he's staring down Julio Jones. That ball comes out behind him. That's a one. That's a, a bad throw on a an average difficulty throw for me. You know, if you want to try that ball, you better be damn confident that you can get it there. It's just not a good it's just not a good play, especially on third down. All right, next drive. Oh, I remember this throw. You just see the lack of the arm strength. That's a you know, he has about 50 yards in him, right? That's what we saw with the Julio. It took everything he had, stepped into it, got the ball about 50, 55 yards. This one, not able to get quite as much in it. And, I mean, you just you got Julio one-on-one -on -one with a clean pocket. You just don't have the arm talent. you got to give the best wide receiver in football that's not named DeAndre Hopkins – a chance to catch that ball and he I mean look how far off it is Julio is just defeated it's like come on man I what do you want me to do in this situation that's a one to me it's a I mean it's it's a tough ask but I want my franchise quarterback to be able to make that throw with room to step up and unleash it I want him to give Julio Jones a chance in the fourth quarter so now we've got third and six. We're losing here in the, you know, end of the third quarter here. Another good play. Buys a little bit of time stepping up. That's the three. You gotta you gotta catch that ball, Austin Hooper. That's a three for Matt Ryan. Nice play. This is something he does he does well enough. You know. We're not trying to rip him entirely. He's still a top 12 quarterback. It's still a nice play. Uh, you want to know why we have a punt included here? Because Matt Ryan gets absolutely bailed out because of whatever this Eagle's doing. Like, what are you doing, dude? So, bailed out. That's just going to be uh, probably an N.A. Yeah, we'll go N.A. on that one. Good defense by the Eagles on the screen. a decent play I mean he he's intentionally I think throwing this to the outside shoulder here because he wants to put in space he misses a little bit but it's a good catch by Sanu Whoa. let's see let's look at it from this angle one more time that was his third progression so we'll, we'll give it a three so blitz, okay, it's just a four-man rush. Terrible blocking. That's that's probably a, an NA for us. Um, is that Alex Mack getting beat like that? 51? Yikes. I mean, that's Fletcher Cox, right? That's what he does. I don't know what the penalty was, but uh, some kind of holding or something. It's still an NA. I wouldn't expect anyone to have a chance with Fletcher Cox breathing down your neck like that. So here we have third and three. Oh my goodness. You have got to be kidding me. This is your franchise quarterback, Atlanta. This is your MVP. Sailing balls for easy picks in the fourth quarter. What is this, Matt Ryan? You think Julio can just bail you out on everything? Maybe identify the blitz and hit your hot read instead of just chucking it up to Julio blindly, dude. Hello? The blitz came from this side, Matt. Came from every every side, but against a 
six man, seven man rush. Why are you trying to hit a deep corner route? Find your hot read with the matchup problem here. You've got the stack on this side too. You don't even look over there. If even if you've decided at this point you're throwing that post, which he clearly has, you don't want to take a quick peek. It's third and three too, dude. That's a that's a you went from what should have been a first down, right there. Just flip it over the line. But nope, Julio's my man. I'm gonna throw an easy interception there. That's a zero. That's the third zero of the game for Matt Ryan. And this is this one finally did go as a turnover. He's had two turnover worthy plays already. And this one, actually, no, the, the first zero was, was just a terrible mistake. So he ends up getting bailed out because Nick Foles threw a pick after Dallas Goddard dropped a ball. So we've got first and ten. They're back in the red zone after the interception. So the team's doing literally everything they can at this point to help out Matt Ryan. They're, like, trying to win this game despite their quarterback. That's a big-time throw, though. He kind of stepped into the pressure while he was throwing it. I wouldn't say he was necessary. I mean, he was under pressure for sure, but that's a three to me. It's a wide open wide receiver. He knew that's where he was going. That's a good, really good play though. That's a three. I think it maybe looked a little worse. Most of the disruption came after right you look at his throwing he stepped all the way into it and then at the very end he had to pull back and you know it's a good throw it's a three it's a better than average play for sure uh, this is a screen I'm not willing to say that he missed him there we'll just go with a NA so second and 25 What are you doing? What are you doing? Either throw it or get out. Let's let's get it from this angle. This is some of the worst pocket awareness you'll see. Okay, you don't like that. You know you're about to be under pressure, right? You know that clock has to be moving. You could have thrown this. Although it was covered. Good thing he didn't. But the second you decide not to throw this, you should have known here that you had a step up lane here. Most quarterbacks, when they feel that pressure come wide like that, are going to step up. And he doesn't. He just stands there. Like he doesn't know what he's doing. right let's see if I can pause it right there he thinks about stepping up but he doesn't he like flips his head and like tries to do something here and he still hangs in there right there it's fuzzy but how do you not sense that you know these guys came out here how do you not sense this that's a zero it's a turnover worthy play if the fumble bounces another direction after you stepped right into Fletcher freaking Cox, it's another zero. This has got to be something simple, right? I mean, I feel like that's got to be just an NA. Like, it's just so deep that you're not going to even analyze that play. All right, so Philly finally capitalizes. They go up six points, and it's now... Sorry, we're jumping all over the place here. Um... Okay, now we've got the ball back. Two-minute drill. First and ten. Matty Ice, what do you got, buddy? This is kind of just a two to me. Pretty simple play to get the drive started. There you go. All day to throw. Julio Jones coming wide open. 
but that's going to go in the books as a big time throw. 20 plus yards on the money. That's a three. All right, first and 10, inside two minutes. That's just kind of NA. He just kind of eats it. All right, second down. Get rid of it. Like, I get that you had nowhere to go here. Everything's covered up. You got nowhere to go. But you're out of the pocket. Do you not have enough in you to flip that thing out of bounds? Even as you're going down? Like, do you realize how important those seven yards are? Like... I guess, man, if you had to take that sack, but that's a really costly sack, and we've seen him get sacked out of field goal range in big-time games and the Super Bowl before. Like, learn from your mistakes. At this point, you really think you're going to outrun this guy? You're outside the pocket. Begin the process to throw the ball out of bounds. You only have to get it about 10 yards. It's not a zero, but it's a negatively graded play for me. That's a that's a one, I think, for me. Now that right there is a four. You want to know what a four looks like? Four man rush. Guy gets beat. About to get blasted. Flip of the wrist. And you convert a 20 yard out to Julio Jones now again it's to Julio but that's a four that is a clutch elite throw right there the team needed a play and you made it but your job's not done yet you gotta go all the way it's not about one good play it's a pretty basic system throw right there to me so we got first down right Yep. Getting into the red zone. Matt. That's a two. Against the Blitz. I mean, really nowhere to go. I think we might have to sprinkle something in here that if it's a Blitz... If there's no open wide receivers, it's an NA. I think that's perfectly fair. And you also, if, if there's nowhere to go, if there's no wide receivers and there's no step-up lanes, and there's no ability for you to get out of the pocket, which he never had here, this is a perfectly pinching pass rush here. He, wasn't, he wouldn't be able to roll to the right, wouldn't be able to roll to the left. There's nowhere to step up. There's nowhere to go. You know, any, you know, if we give him a two, it's going to knock him down against anyone that's above a two. And you just, you know, no one's going to make that play right there. I will not criticize Matt Ryan for that right there. Now, if I saw some kind of where for him to go, then that's fine. But that really was not on him. So that's fine. So third and eight. You were clutch on that last third down. And he delivers again. It's another big play on third down. I'll give it to you. That's a three. Way to bounce back from getting kind of screwed on second down. One one little note I have on him is he, he's holding these safeties really well, but it's not like he's he's not like misdirecting them. There's no receiver over here. He's just literally looking at this safety, but his eyes are over here. That's good. That's good stuff. And at the last second, he flips those helmets. Uh, flips the helmet. It's a good play. That's a that's an above average play right there. All right, so you're you're doing good, Matt. You're picking things up on third down. Now he rolls out, not able to create anything. You know, maybe he flips it back inside there, Patrick Mahomes style, but that's just a two. So what do we this was second down? 
Yeah, second and ten. So he decides to hang in there. Decides he likes what's what's coming here instead of rolling out, which most quarterbacks will will probably do in this situation. Um, decides to hang in there, but the throw goes over the head of Julio Jones. Um, he wasn't open. It's a two. I would argue there was opportunity there that he didn't capitalize on, but no one was necessarily open. But I don't think he was particularly didn't particularly have to be under pressure the second this edge rusher came inside he could have decided okay julio's doubled i probably don't need to force that let's see what else we can get here you know extend the play right be an extension of the system he's not doing any of that here he's just being a system qb so third down we just threw it out the back of the end zone third down you're under pressure Again, nobody open. Are they out of they must be out of timeouts because they're trying to get the end zone on every one of these plays. I mean he's he's under pressure. It's a two. I'm not necessarily gonna knock him for that. Fletcher Cox is just a monster, man. I'm not sure that's not an N.A. I mean, you can make a slight case. Let's let's see. You can make a slight case that here he should have moved. Pretty tough to criticize him of that, though. I think we got to go N.A. on that. That's just really good pressure. So we're definitely going to have to update our grading system to say something about nowhere to go. You know, that's got to be NAs. So fourth down, this is just a last ditch. But, I mean, give your receiver a chance, dude. Like, you threw it out of bounds. It's a two for me on the last play of the game. I mean, you got to at least throw the ball in bounds, Matt Ryan. <laughs> So that that's gonna do it. Um, let's let's add this up here. Get a final grade for Matt Ryan. It's not really gonna mean much because this is the first time we've done it, but it will tell you what his average play was. So you add it all up, and you get a grade of 2.18 times 25 is 54.5 for the game. So in a game where he makes some big throws, he makes some terrible mistakes, a lot of system plays. It comes out right slightly above average. You know, he made some throws in this game that a lot of quarterbacks would not. He also made some mistakes that most elite quarterbacks would not. Um, at the end of the day, he did not make enough plays, 12 points, to win the game. He left six on the board early. He left at least three on the board with a terrible red zone interception that we saw. He had two other turnover-worthy plays that did not result in turnovers. You know, the, the Falcons really did everything they could to win this game, in my opinion, despite Matt Ryan's play. Now, he did make some nice throws, and he made one four play, one just elite throw on third and long. But the other thing you got to mention is that all of these big plays, for the most part, are to Julio Jones. So, you know, you got to take those with a grain of salt. So, obviously, this was one of his worst games, but this is, you know, this kind of thought process I had before I did this you know it, it stems from a lot of disappointing games that you see from Matt Ryan and they usually all come on the road where elite quarterbacks are able to elevate and step up and make plays when you need them so I hope you enjoyed the film breakdown um, I don't know you know this might be a little long I might try to shorten these down obviously we had the long intro as well but again guys head over to patreon if you want to see these breakdowns if you want to see how this 54.5 grade compares to other quarterbacks my next step is going to be doing a game of all five of the rookie quarterbacks if not two games you know it'd be fun to do like their best and worst game for each of the rookies and just kind of compare and contrast um but that's it uh, please do hit that like button, share with your friends, all that stuff. Cheers as always, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.